Hello, guys. Uh, this is Mr. Market Switch. I'm super excited tonight to be with you here again. <clears throat> How are you guys? How was your day? Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. We are we are happy to be here. I, I believe everyone is, is happy to be here tonight. All right, thank you. Uh, I can see some feedback from people there. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, today I'm not doing very fine because uh, I feel like I'm very tired and uh, I had a very, very uh, tough week. I think last week, and uh, in fact, we uh, still ha are having a lot of stuff that I'm working on. And uh, but I hope that uh, you guys uh, can still enjoy the presentation today, tonight, of course. All right. Um, <clears throat> what do we have today? What What do we have tonight? Tonight. Uh, We'll focus more on uh, fundamental fundamental analysis. Of course, we're going to focus more on economic data. And uh, not only economic data, we're also going to focus on uh, how to combine fundamental or economic data and uh, the technical setup that we see uh, that we see in the Forex market. You know, we all know that uh, uh, Economic data are the one that are, that are moving the market. Uh, the movement that we see in the forest market, in fact, are the results of the the economic data released, or are the result of the the the, the, uh, the fundam fundamental data that have been released uh, in a specific country that affect a specific currency. So it's very important for you guys to understand about that. That's the first thing that you need to understand, that uh, the movement or the volatility that we see in the forest market, the movement that we see in the forest market, the move, the direction that the market takes, uh, in fact, the, uh, the result of the uh, certain economic data that are affect or that have affected a certain pair uh, in the market and, and hence, uh, 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 tend to move the market in a certain direction. So I'll talk more about that when we go into the real example and uh, when we go to the market direct. All right, guys. So last, to, uh, last, our last presentation. In fact, the last presentation before before uh, the, uh, the 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 presentation that we made uh, uh, concerning uh, market analysis, we uh, we focused more on. Uh, on non-farm payrolls, non-farm payroll, NFP. And we discussed a lot of stuff concerning uh, NFP. And I believe that you guys were able to learn some things out of uh, NFP. All right, guys. Now, today, before I jump into something that you need to learn today, I think I need to, uh, to do a little bit of introduction uh, using our previous uh, discussion on NFP. Uh, so that we can now connect uh, connect the, the the previous the last part of our presentation on economic data and uh, today's presentation. All right, guys. As you can see, here we have this uh, we top news in the forex market. Uh, in fact, we are going to discuss about it uh, more and more. Uh, we had interest rate decision. Uh, let's not dis let's not talk about this. Uh, interest rate decision, employment rate, GDP, which means growth, domestic product, uh, CPI, consumer price index, form committee, elections, disaster and wars, uh, political issues. There are a lot of them, guys. There is a lot of them. In fact, today we're going to deal with uh, with uh, a number of them, but uh, you need first to understand this, that uh, uh, this, this, this economic data that we see they depend on each other. For example, when you talk of interest rate, interest rate is an accumulation of other information. Uh, uh, inflation, the issues concerning inflations, 
uh, employment, uh, GDP, CPI, so many things they, they, that, that, that happen, uh, they, 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 they create uh, or they have influence in the interest, interest rate decision. And the interest rate is always made by the central bank or the, the, the bank of, uh, of the respective country. The bank of the respective country, uh, they, uh, they are the one that uh, have mandated to announce the change or the maintaining maintenance of the uh, of, of interest. Maybe the country can, can decide or the central bank may decide to, to change the interest rate, uh, either to increase or to decrease interest rate uh, based on the economic uh, based on the uh, economic overview of the country. So uh, if 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 the economic overview give them a certain picture, then they can decide may either to change or to, to decrease or to increase the interest rate. At the end of the day, we have the impact uh, of that in the forex market. All right, guys. Yes. Now we, we discuss about now from payroll, and we uh, we discuss a lot of stuff. If you have joined us here for the first time, please. If you have joined us here for the first time, please make sure you go through our previous videos so that you may know where we ended uh, discussing about this. Because if, uh, if you do not uh, go through that, you may not understand uh, a lot of stuff here. But uh, if you go through that, it will be very easy for you to understand what we are going to do here today. So we discussed about NFP and uh, remember, we had a lot of stuffs there and it was nice. I hope there is no problem with NFP anymore. All right, guys, so let's discuss a little bit about uh, this now. Uh, we're discussing about uh, uh, forex economic data. Remember, we said we discussed a little bit about interest rate and central bank announcement. Interest rate, uh, is, is, uh, interest rate decision is given by the central bank. As I said, interest rate is given by, uh, is, is, is given by the central bank. Now, uh, what what happened when the interest rate is higher? The higher the interest rate, the stronger the currency. If the interest rate of the country is raised, if uh, if the country decided to raise the interest rate, let's say United States of America, if the United States of America decided to raise the interest rate, uh, uh, it's obvious that uh, uh, it will also strengthen. The, 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 the USD. Why? Why raising the interest rate? Because uh, looking at the economy of the country, the central bank may decide to raise the interest rate if the inflation is, is not is not is not is not bad. If if uh, employment is good and so many other th things. If the country now decided to raise the interest rate, that means uh, the, 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 that one will have a positive impact to that respective currency. And I've given an example, if US, uh, United States of America decided to raise the interest rate, that means that one will have a positive impact to the USD. Now, if, if, now, uh, if now they decided to lower the interest rate, the lower the interest rate, that means that one will have a negative impact to the respective currency. So guys, it's better for you to understand about that it's better for you to understand about that. I'll come to the real example, but right now let us explain a little bit about all these steps so that when we go to the economic calendar, we may uh, be able to see exactly what I was trying to explain here. Now, we, uh, I had this advice. Remember, this, uh, this notes, uh, I prepared these notes about three years ago, so guys, don't worry about this. This was given as an, uh, you know, the market tend to change. Uh, three years ago, interest rate on JPY uh, was very, very volatile. So if we had, we had any change of interest rate on JPY or Japanese yen, in fact, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Japan. If the central bank of Japan decided to raise the interest or to lower the interest rate in those three years back, uh, in fact, it's a few years, three years, two years ago, uh, it was such a huge impact. JPY payers were moving very strong. So if they raise the interest rate, that means JPY was very, very high, very, very strong in the, in the market. If they lower, that means JPY was very weak. And uh, we see the impact 
uh, a very huge impact. And that's why I had this advice that uh, it's better for people who don't know if who don't know how to trade this uh, to stay out of the market during the release. Remember what we discussed on NFP, guys. It's better you stay out of the market during the release of the of that specific news if it's a big news and wait until you see the inside bar and the breakout of either high or low of that inside bar. For those people who were here when we discussed about NFP, understand what I'm talking about. But if it's your first time, please go through the previous presentation. You'll be able to understand what I, I'm talking about here. So that's very, uh, very, very clear now. Now, this is interest rate, guys. That is interest rate. The higher the, the, higher the interest rate, the stronger the currency, the lower the, 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 the weaker the currency. Now, let's discuss a little bit about unemployment data. Unemployment data, remember, we have one side of an unemployment data that talk about non-farm payrolls, but we have another side that we do not talk about non-farm payroll. We have unemployment data of other payers uh, apart from, about uh, of other countries apart from uh, non-farm payroll of the United States of America. This non-farm payroll is specifically for uh, for, uh, for uh, United States of America. Remember, I prepared these notes uh, about three years ago, so I, I, I collected and put everything together. Uh, but uh, you see, I have decided to change discussing about non-farm payroll on its uh, uh, non-farm payroll alone and others uh, combined. So, uh, an employment data is second to interest rate. After after interest rate, the other one that follows is uh, it's, uh, it's unemployment data. In fact, it was about enough farm payroll, but uh, uh, but uh, it's combined. It's it's it, it's in it's, it's in a collective way now. So uh, now, if 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 unemployment data, if unemployment data is uh, is greater, uh, if unemployment data data. Uh, and if unemployment data is less, is less than 6% ratio, that is an indicator of a stable economy. But if unemployment data is higher than 6% ratio, that means it's not good for the, for the economy. When we talk about unemployment data, that means uh, the, the, the percentage of unemployment or the rate of unemployment in the country. If unemployment is higher in the country, that means it's not good for the economy. And here we have, give, we have been given the number, the ratio. In fact, that's why uh, not, all an, not all unemployment data uh, have such a, a bigger impact. They, 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 they have to, they have to, to, to you have to focus on this number. If, if, if unemployment data is less than 6% pressure, that is an indicator of stable economy. But if unemployment data increase, go higher than 6%, it's waste. That one is waste for the economy. Yes, that's very important for you to understand. All right, we have an inflation, and inflation, inflation we discuss more about CPI and PPI. We'll go to that. CPI is consumer price index, guys. Uh, in fact, CPI uh, combination of CPI and PPI is one that from, uh, is the one that gives us inflation. You see, uh, inflation goes hand to hand with the interest rate. Uh, as I said before, that uh, when we have when we have uh, uh, when we have uh, uh, an, uh, inflation data and the other data combined, they they give us a picture that to, uh, the central bank can decide about the interest rate of the of the of the, of the, the country. You see, now discussing about inflation, for those people who speak Swahili, when we talk about inflation, we mean in Fumuko Abey, Fumuko Abey, katika nchi. See, guys. So uh, inflation, inflation, uh, it, it measures the 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 the. Uh, in fact, the 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 the. the economy of the country you see the consuming power or the consuming uh, uh, consuming index the consuming index of a certain country that is consumer price index it measures the price index 
consuming price index, consuming price index of a certain country. So if the consuming price index is higher or is lower, it implies something in the forex market. So if inflation goes, uh, if, if inflation is higher, the higher the, uh, uh, the higher the inflation, the higher the interest rate and vice versa. So if inflation rate is higher and uh, it triggers the interest rate, that means the higher the interest rate, means it 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 is strengthening the the the, the it is it is strengthening the 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 the, the, the respective currents or the currents of this respective country because the higher the inflation the higher the interest rate and uh, vice versa is true so if if inflation is low and uh, if the interest rate also is low that means it will be bad for the for the economy of the country so guys so that is very important remember here we are talking about the strength and the weakness of the currents strength on the weakness of the country what can cause the strength and the weakness of the country why because the strength and the weakness of a certain country of, of a certain currents is the one that can cause uh, either a certain pair to move in a certain direction so guys let's say we are talking about euro usd Let's say Euro USD is stronger than you, uh, Euro is stronger than USD in Euro USD. That means if Euro is stronger than USD, due to the fact that maybe it has high interest rate, the inflation of that of Euro is high and so on and so forth. That means it will uh, it will be a good a, a good indicator for the euro economy so euro will be stronger than usd and therefore if euro is stronger than usd that means euro euro usd will be buying you see you see that guys yes that's very clear now inflation let's talk about the gross domestic product what is it gross gross domestic product gross domestic product Gross domestic product uh, measure value of all goods and all products produ produced within the border of a particular country. A value of all goods and products produced within the border of a particular country. So the growth of up to 2.5 percent, 2 to 2.5 percent growth per year means things are running smoothly. So when GDP, when GDP is 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 growing for about 2 to 2.5 percent per year means uh, things are running smoothly in that country. And therefore, uh, the, stronger the, that, uh, the, str the, uh, the, the stronger the currents of that respective country. So this is very important. Uh, we have seen in the economic calendar that uh, we have seen in the economic calendar that uh, uh, this, this has been released that this 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 GDP has been released uh, in different payers: uh, USD, uh, pound, uh, euro, uh, AUD, Australian dollar, NZD, so on, G Japanese yen. So GDP, because every country produce, they have their products. So if they have the products, there must be something to measure the product, the, the, the productions. And that is growth, gross domestic product, GDP of the country. So if the GDP of the country is higher, if the GDP of the country is higher, that means that is a good indicator for the economy of the country. But if GDP is lower, that means the country is not producing enough. That means that is not good for the respective country. So guys, it's very, it's very important for you to understand about that too. Let's go to retail sales. Retail sales, what does it mean? Uh, retail sales measure total sales of all goods in the country. Total sales of all goods in the country. Remember, for the country to have a stable economy, they must have a lot of activities. One of those activities is production. Uh, they have to produce goods and so on. Uh, uh, in fact, the goods that are being produced are, are, will be there for the export and so on and so forth. So guys, uh, there must be something to measure. Uh, that that is uh, retail sales measure total sales total sales of all goods in the country we are talking about within the border of the country guys within the border of the country in the country retail sales within the country 
Now, if retail sales goes up, means there is higher consumption, and that means the economy is stronger. You know, it's very terrible for you to produce something that you do not have consumer. So when we have higher retail sales, that means the goods are being cons consumed by, uh, by, by, by retail, uh, by, by the people in, within the border of the country. That means if, if retail sales goes up, means there is higher consumption. When we have higher consumption in the country, that means we produce and, uh, and the product gets the customer. We produce and the goods get to the customer. That people, there are people who consume the goods. There are people who buy the goods. So if we have people buying the goods, that means the people have, have, have a stable economy. They have money to buy. If people have money to buy, that means that we have good cycle or uh, we have good rotation of money within the border of the country, so guys. So if people do not have money, that means they cannot buy the product. So if they consume more, if they consume more of the product that we produce, that means, uh, uh, that means uh, we, have stable, we have stable economy, guys. That's very important for you guys to understand about retail sales. So retail sales is one of the economic that, that we need to look at very carefully. So another thing about the retail sales, it also measure difference between input and export. It measure difference between import and export. Because if we have retail sales within the border of the country, that means we know uh, we know the, 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 the number uh, uh, the number of consumers within the border of the country. We also know how many people within the border of the country consume our product and how many people consume other products out from, from, from outside the country. It also uh, helps us to know how much we can export and how much we can, uh, we can import. I mean, we, you know, we cannot produce everything that people require. Some, some of the goods we have, we have to get from, from other countries, you know, uh, because we do not have every, uh, all industry in, uh, in our developing countries or in, in fact, in all, there is no country in the world that produce everything uh, without, without importing some of the product from outside the country. We need each other, guys. So even the country, countries need each other. They also uh, receive products from other countries through uh, import, and we also sell other products outside the country through export. So we import and export. Where do we measure the import and export? Retail sales. So guys, we, we get the number of, re of retail sales, and uh, then from that data we know, we know it actually uh, uh, how much we export and import and uh, the production as well. Current account, number seven, current account, current account, how do we get uh, uh, how do we get a current account current account data is is is, is uh, we, we we understand the current account data by uh, by taking the summation of the summation of the difference between export and import uh, uh, and uh, net money transfer net money transfer you see this this involves some numbers here mathematics I will not go deeper into that, but uh, if the current account is positive, that means the stronger they can. Now, if you take export minus import, the answer you get, you, uh, you, you take the sum of that uh, with uh, net money transfers. We are talking about the transactions, the numbers of transactions taking place uh, in the country. That means we will be able to get uh, the current account, the uh, current account data that will help us to know. Uh, 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 the, the picture of the economy of the country. If the current account is positive, that means the stronger the currents within the border of the country. Now, the, the last part, let's discuss about the last part of this industrial production. Industrial production measures monthly change in the total output of industry, fa industry facilities. Uh, uh, we are talking about the manufacturing. I think I have a uh, typing error there, the manufacturing, mining, etc. Okay, industrial production, this is very direct against. So if we produce more, if we produce more, that means, uh, that means, uh, that means we have customers for our, product, uh, for our products and that's why we keep producing more. Uh, so you see, this one also goes hand to hand with the retail sales because if the retail sales is higher, that means that we have people who are consuming the products. 
And uh, if people are consuming the product, that means in industries must work, must produce more, so that we can we can we can uh, we can accommodate the requirement, the demand of the products. So uh, industrial production is very important, guys. The higher the higher the industrial production, the stronger the currency of a particular country. That is very direct, guys. We don't need to waste our time there. Uh, it is very direct. Now, I want to go back to this. Uh, I want to go back to this here because we have something that we need to cover here as well. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay. We have something we need to cover here, guys. I need to share this one here as well. Uh, I need to share this one here as well. Uh, this one. All right. Okay. I hope you guys you can see this one. It's very. Before I was sharing this one, I hope you, you saw this one. I was sharing this one before. This one is what I was sharing before, guys. So I hope we're here together. Uh, you know, sometimes I forget to share. I'm thinking that I'm sharing it while I'm not. So I hope this one is very clear, guys, because we were, we were discussing about these stuffs. We were discussing about these stuffs, guys. Uh, okay, this is what we are discussing about interest rate, employment, gross domestic. So we finished with the industrial production there. And uh, now I want us to share something else. Uh, I want us to share something else here, guys. Let me, let me show you. Uh, okay, this one. Let me see. Okay. I want, us to, I, I, I want us to talk a little bit about this because, you see, you see uh, this one, we already finished with GDP, CPI. Uh, all right. Uh, this one, so the same thing with uh, the issues concerning, uh, the same thing with, uh, the issues concerning uh, you know, we have form committing, form committing, uh, I think, I think form committee is very, very, is very, very clear for many of us because we used to see this, uh, we used to see this couple of times. But issues concerning election, I want to talk about this un 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 unlisted, unlisted data. Elections, of course, we know about this and the disaster in the world. In fact, elections, we know about, about that elections because uh, if a country goes into elections, uh, they, they, it, it, they, we know actually that the country is going into election, so it's not something that that we we do not know about. It's something that we know about. So elections are the one that is, is also uh, one of the economic data. It's also one of the economic. It is it is political data, but it it is it is uh, it is also economic data because it affects much the 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 the, the, the the strength or weakness of uh, the strength uh, it affects much the the, 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 the the currents of the specific country it may trigger the strength or weakness of that uh, of that uh, currents of a specific country because uh, someone who is coming as as uh, the president of the country uh, might have a certain influence to the economy of the country so it's very important guys even investors investors looks uh, they, they, they also look look at the at, at the election of of, 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 of of a specific country as an opportunity it might be an opportunity or not why because we, they are looking at the agenda at the agenda uh, uh, that, that 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 is being given or that is being campaigned by the by, by, by the people who are contesting for that post. Because if someone who is coming as a president or someone who uh, uh, is, is, is coming to create the government of that country or someone who is coming as the head of that country is, is not favoring the investors, that means the investors will pull out from that, uh, will pull out their investment from that country. At the end of the day, it, it, it will affect 
the economy of that country and hence the weakness of the country. If, if it, uh, the environment is favorable, that means investors will be attracted and uh, a lot of people will invest in that country and hence that the country will have a stable economy. Disaster and wars. Disaster and wars. If the disaster and wars are, uh, happen, it will also be uh, not a good indicator of, of, the, of, the, of the economy of that country. Uh, for example, if Trump, if Trump decide to go into war right now with North Korea, what will happen? If Trump decide to go into war with North Korea right now, what will happen? It is obvious that uh, USD will be in trouble because. Uh, Many investors will pull out their money from the United States and some other people will close their business because uh, you might not know what will happen uh, in the midst of the war, you see guys. So uh, that one will affect the economy of the country. And even the, 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 the big budget of the country will go into, into war. So uh, people will be, will be, will be in... in, in uh, in trouble and the economy of the country will be in trouble as well. So guys, so that's what I was trying to, to talk about uh, uh, concerning the top news or the data that we have in the forex market. Now, I want, I want us to go into deeper, uh, uh, to go deeper into this. Uh, let's, let's see this guys, let's see this one here now. Let me share this, I want to go into the economic calendar. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> you see, we have just discussed. Uh, we have just discussed the, the some of the top news. We have other news, guys. We have other news. Uh, you see, we have an employment rate that we already discussed about. Uh, uh, okay, let's see this one uh, today. This is today, and uh, let's just see. Uh, you see, guys, we have to, uh, tonight. We have uh, we have a uh, uh, New Zealand rate state rate decision, interest rate decision, and uh, also we have rate statement. We have monetary policy statement, but the the, the one that we need to focus on uh, these two, uh, these two, inter uh, this one, interest rate decision and interest rate statement. So you now know that interest rate is the biggest, uh, is the biggest news in the price market. So guys, tonight, it's going to be fire. It's going to be fire on NZD. Why? Because they, have, they are going to have interest rate. And now if you look at this one here, the previous reading was 1%. Now, the, the expected reading today is 0 0.75. That means uh, today it's, uh, the, the interest rate is expected to be, uh, to be lower than the previous. The expected reading is expected to be lower. So we, ex we, we now wait to see what will happen here today. We wait to see what will happen here today, guys. So it's going to be fire, it's going to be fire. I don't know what is going to happen, but uh, it's going to be fire, guys. All eyes on NCD tonight. All eyes on NCD tonight. You know what is interest rate. By now you know what is interest rate and you know how powerful interest rate is. So it's going to be fire, guys. It's going to be fire. If you, you, can, you can stay awake and wait for that, just good luck. I wish you good luck. And, uh, but uh, I, I will advise you guys to, uh, I will advise you guys to focus on, uh, on, on, on this uh, strategy that I explained when we discussed about NFP, that one may, may be good for you guys. But uh, sometimes you might decide to go with it. Just at the release of the news, you, you get in, you make money, you get out. That's, that's, that's sometimes can work because we are we are we, we, we trade different and we are uh, different type of traders guys so i cannot force you to be like me but i can just advise you so we have that one uh, you see these are the medium low we do not focus on this we focus on this the red one the red news are the one that we need to focus on because those are the one that move the market guys are the one that move the market and uh, 
that's the focus. All right, so you see unemployment rate, this one is low, so you don't focus much on that because that one's low, but this one, it's going to be fire, guys. Uh, all right, all right, so we have that one today. We may also take a look at tomorrow and see what will happen tomorrow. On tomorrow market, we have consumer price index on GBP, CPI on GBP. We have PPI and CPI, uh, medium, and uh, this one is high. So we have that one, CPI. Just forget about this low. Focus on the red and the orange one. Uh, this one are good. We also have consumer price index on United States of America. It's also the CPI is also one of the biggest news in the forex market. So you need to focus on that, guys. You don't just you don't just look at the what you don't just look at the at the technical setup. We also look at the at the economic data to see what will cause uh, the market to move in the direction of the technical setup. All right, guys. Now I come to this now because. We are now at the best or uh, at the at the at the good part of this, and now I want to play on this very very careful. I want to play on this very careful so that you can get the concept here. Look at this very careful, guys. Uh, I want you to take a look at uh, I want to take a look at uh, at NZD pairs because we are gonna have NZD interest rate tonight. So we 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 want now to combine. Want now to combine to combine the technical setup that we see on NZD pairs, and so that we can now try to predict the the the, the, the uh, you can now try to predict the the result of the fundamental. So guys, why am I saying so? Because most of time, most of time, most of time, technical setup can give us a clue about the result or about the direction that the <laughs> all that economic data will take. Make a food railway. Guys, please, I don't need to hear anyone make noises here. So please mute yourself, please, guys. Mute yourself, please. It's very important for me. Here it is, guys. Uh, let, let me take uh, a look at this. Let me take a look at this. I want to start with uh, NZDJPY. I want to start with NZDJPY. Taking a look at NZDJPY, guys. Sorry. Uh, taking a look at. Uh, Taking a look at NZDJPY, you see we have we have we had what we had a, a bullish setup on NZDJPY as you know, and we have been we have been on that for a long time. We have been on that for a long time. So we have what we have uh, this. We had a downtrend for a long time, but uh, you see after that we see the market creating this W pattern here down here, guys, and we already finished the level one up. The market has already finished level one up, but when you take a look at it right now, you see the market is trying to struggle below the neckline. The market is struggling below the neckline. But uh, also, if you put Fibonacci, if you draw Fibonacci retracement from the top to the lowest price, you see the market is, although the market is, is struggling. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Let me share the screen now. Okay. Let me share the screen. Sorry, guys. I thought I was sharing while I'm, I was not sharing. Sorry. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So I want, I want to remove all these stuffs. I want to remove all those stuffs. Now, this is what I'm trying to explain, guys. Now, listen to me very careful. As I said, tonight we have interest rate on NZD. Newsland interest rate. The, the central bank of Newsland is going to announce the interest rate. Now, the interest decision might be, uh, uh, might be uh, this, uh, as expected or higher or lower. That is what 
is, is obviously going to happen tonight. Now, I want now to teach you how now you can combine the technical setup and fundamental or economic data. As I said before, the technical setup that we see in the forest market might be or might give us a clue, might give us a clue about what about what might happen or about what direction the market will, can take just after the release of that news. And here it is. We have NCDJPY here. Looking at the NCDJPY, the setup we see here is a very good bullish setup. It's a very good bullish setup based on what? Based on market maker's method. Based on market maker's method. Now, you see this W pattern here. We had a downtrend, completed three levels down. We have this W pattern here. And this W pattern, if you draw the line, the, 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 the resistance line on the neckline, you see this is the neckline of this W pattern. You see the market is struggling, the price is struggling below the neckline. But if you draw, uh, if you draw five bonus retracement or five bonus levels, you see, although the market is struggling below the neckline, it is also above 23.6, above 23.6 fiber level. So looking at this, to give us a confidence that uh, uh, we might have something like this at the release of the news something like this. Coming down to test the 23.6 level, then after, after, after testing 23.6 fiber level, then going up. So having this setup is a clue that uh, we might expect a bullish market on this, on this, on, on the coming, on the coming NCD, uh, on the coming, on the coming NZ, uh, interest rate decision on NCD. You see that, guys? So this is what I was trying to explain. This is what I'm trying also to explain here. This is what I'm also trying to explain here so that you can see and you can understand uh, clearly that how things work here. You see that, guys? Now, looking at another NCD pair, looking at another NCD pair, NCD USD, let's say. Let's focus on NCD USD. Looking at NCD USD, you see the market is trying to create uh, a multiple pattern, multiple similar pattern. Uh, the first pattern that we had, we had an inverse of an inverse of head and shoulder. This was this one here was head, left shoulder, right shoulder. But right now we have this multiple pattern for me, uh, multiple multiple formation, multiple pattern formation of uh, of course of similar pattern. You see. This one also, this, the previous inverse of and shoulder is now acting as a head. This one is acting as a left shoulder. This one as a right shoulder. So looking at that, you see what is, it's going to happen, guys. You see what we have this. If you draw this uh, uh, five bonus levels here, uh, you see the market is, is below 23.6 fiber level. So uh, I think to be safe, I think to be safe, you can put your pending order above. You can put your pending order above 23.6 fiber level, and just forget about that pair, uh, and wait for the uh, and wait for the uh, for the announcement of interest rate on uh, on this. So, guys, that's that's what is going to happen. I, I believe it's going to be something powerful. No, no, I'm sharing the screen, guys. I'm sharing the screen. You can't see my screen, guys. Can you see the screen now? I've been sharing the screen from the beginning. I'm just wondering why you can't see the screen, guys. Hey, can you still not see the screen? I was sharing it, guys, from the beginning. Other people were, were seeing the screen, but I see few guys. 
I'm sharing the screen from the beginning, guys. My screen is here. You see, it's here, guys. So this is what I was saying. This is NZD USD now, guys. NZD USD. <coughs> it's very, it's very clear also on NZD USD. So for me, for me, since I don't want to jump in at the release of the news, I would opt to put my pending order, pending order NZD USD pending order above above twenty five point six five level here, because uh, you see you don't know what will happen here. The news might, you know, at the release of the news, you might see something like this. A hacking, a hiking of the news, trying to go down, but uh, within that, within that, the same second, going up. See guys, hunting, then going up to the intended direction. So you better put a pending order above there. I think this one is very good. Uh, it's very good, guys. You put a pending order above 23.6. That is 0 0.63867. Uh, it's going. It's, it's it's very clear now. That one is very clear now, guys. All right. Let, let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at another one, guys. Maybe take a look at NCD Suzy Frank. Okay. Looking at NCD Suzy Frank, guys, you see a W, a very clear W pattern there. It's very clear the W pattern there. Uh, and uh, what is do we have here, guys? Just like that. A very clear the big part in there and uh this one do you see you see now we have this and this is front there and uh <clears throat> what i can say is what i can say is you can also sorry let me let me let me do something like this. Of this case, network is trying to. I don't know what it's trying to do. See, the market is just trying to show you that maybe we have a breakout there, kind of breakout on downside about 30 pips now. But uh, I think this is kind of for me, I, I, I treat this as a kind of manipulation, as a kind of manipulation. People are, are are now selling NCD Swiss franc, but I'm not selling. I'm buying. I'm buying NCD Swiss franc. You know, sometimes uh, sometimes the the news might make you confused uh, because sometimes you 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 are afraid of losing. Guys, losing is part of this game. Losing is part of this game. So you need to understand about that. When once you understand about that, you'll never be afraid of losing. You you know that there are time to to win, the time to lose, and uh, you just you just take it, you just take it, guys, and it's part of the game. And uh, once that is hap once that happen, you 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 just you just press on, you don't quit, you just press on, guys, just press on, and uh, life goes on as usual. All right. So that's that's great. That's great, guys. So what I'm looking at, uh, what uh, uh, I, 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 what I can say right now is uh, we are having a very good, a very good setup on NCD. And uh, let let me take another pair here. I want to show you another pair, guys. So NCD Swiss franc is a bullish setup, and so that is technical. Uh, and due to that technical setup, I'm convinced that. Uh, it's going also to trigger. It's going also to trigger uh, a bullish market uh, during the release of the news. Now I want to take a look at Euro NCD. This is GBP NCD, guys. This is GBP NCD. Looking at GBP NCD, also, uh, I expect the same thing to happen. I expect you the same thing to happen. You see. GBP NCD under market makers calls it's 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 on uh, it's on uh, a buy and uh, on a bearish market. You see, we have this top here. You see this one here. The market might might decide to make this kind of move to create a double to create a double top before falling down. It is a bearish, long term bearish, short term bullish. Short-term bullish, long-term bearish. 
You see, guys. Now let, let's let's do this. Let's do things smart in a smart way. Let's do things in a smart way. Let's do things in a smart way. Uh, let's now let's now decide to analyze this under market makers codes. Someone is asking, is asking some size. Is it possible the price will go down or the market had jumped as you showed? Uh, is it possible price? Oh, guys, um, I'm just I'm just trying to 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 speak uh, or to put the possibilities. I'm just trying to say the possibilities. You see, most of the time, NZD news, NZD news. Uh, do not have so many manipulation. They just take the direction intended. The new, the, the, the other news like form, uh, like uh, like uh, the other news like uh, interest rate, NFP. They have some kind of hike before taking the intended direction. But uh, from my experience, NSD news when they happen, the big news, they just move direct. They move direct. They move direct, so so I think uh, uh, that's what happened. No, I have not shared. I, I stopped the sharing uh, GBPNSD. I'm I'm now go, going back to NG. I was just trying to answer your question. Now I'm going back to the to the to the to the to the to the chart. Now looking at 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 this, looking at this guys, it's very interesting. Looking at this now, it's very interesting. Okay, let's now analyze this under market maker scopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take 40 days. Let's take 40 days. 40 days MMC. 40 days MMC. Let's now do it in a smart way. Remember, we take 40 days. One, two, every period is separated here represent, represent five days. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means 40 days. Now we are screened the market in the previous 40 days. To see what the market was doing. So this one is the highest price, the second highest. We, we, we regard this one as the second highest. And uh, this one here, the, 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 the lowest price, the second lowest, take uh, that one. Now, looking at that, let's now apply a little bit of five bonus retracement there. You see the price is above 23.6 fiber level. That means the price is just the area here, this area here, the highest and second highest is the sell zone. So the market is just playing about around that. So what I was trying to say is the market might decide to come up to this, to test this area, that area, and it may be either to create double top before falling down. It's very, it's very possible. So guys, you have to take a look at all possibilities. Another possibility is the market uh, might break down, uh, might take
Sound-y, magic sound Video does not sound the mask it switch. Uh, oh, sorry guys, sorry guys. You know, I thought I was talking here with you. Well, I was, I wasn't, sorry guys. Okay, I think I need to repeat something here, guys. I was explaining about GBP NCD and uh, you didn't hear anything. So I want to, to repeat a little bit about this. What I was saying is uh, we have, we have uh, you know, we have this GBP NCD. We analyzed it under 40 days. We analyzed it under 40 days, uh, 40 days what? 40 days uh, market maker scores, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we had 40 days. So we are looking at what the market was doing uh, in the previous 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the highest price reached within 40 days was this one, the second highest was this one, the lowest was this one, the second lowest was that one. And what I was saying is, if you take a look at this, we had this possibility, we have this option. The market might come, test this level, the sell zone, then go down. Why? Because under market makers calls, we see this is a bearish market. So guys, it's very clear. Not only under market makers calls, we also see that it's a, a, it is a, a bearish market under market makers method. Why? You see from this point up, we have this inverse of head and shoulder here, level one, level two, level three, finished. So we are at the sell zone now. We are at the sell zone now. So that's very clear, guys. Now, what I was also trying to say is, it may also decide, the market may, may also decide to move up this area. Then after that, drop down. Why? Because maybe it's going to create a trip, uh, double top. This top one and top two, then down. That is another possibility, guys. We have to look at all possibilities. In order for you to be safe, now, what, where will you be, uh, or where will be your position, or your end, in order for you to be safe? In order for you to be safe, maybe you can, you can put your position just here, below 23.6 fiber level, below 23.6 fiber level. You draw fiber level in the right way, then you put your order there. If the, the news push the market down, you, you'll be taken with it down. See guys, so no worries. If the market decide to go up, you'll be left safe. Your position is not in the market. The market went up. You just wait for it. When once you see it there, uh, you know now it has already created double top. You just you, you may decide to open another position at the top. You go down with it while your other position is still there. You see, that's how we do things, guys. That's how we do things. All right. So we are done with that one with uh, NCD. Uh, remember, we are just trying to see how technical setup might give us a clue about about the direction of the about the direction of the market so that's that's one is now very very clear i hope you won't be in trouble understanding that all right now the last thing that i said i'm going to talk about is commitment of traders cot commitment of traders now talking about commitment of traders we have this uh, this site where we, 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 we have to take a look at. It is, it is called barchat.com. Barchat.com, you go to barchat.com, uh, you just log into barchat.com, you may also open an account, you may also sign up with barchat. Now, let me explain. What is this for? Uh, this, this one it, it, it will, give you, will give you the number of position opened by all the traders in the world, either either uh, long position or short position. So you will you will see the numbers of positions or the numbers of people in in the market in a, a specific pair in a, spe a specific pair. So you will see how many position in the market for a long position, how many for a short position. So 
people think that through understanding those numbers of position, you, you may be able to take, uh, to take advantage of that, but uh, it doesn't work that way. You just, you just trust your, your setup. That's how it is, because those people who thought that they, they, they could trade using the, those numbers or those letters, they, they, they just found themselves losing a lot in the Fox market. So up there in this area, you see the stocks, ETFs, options, futures, currencies, news, dashboard tools, and so many others. So your market is Forex. So you go to currency. When you go to currency, you go to commitment of traders. Commitment of traders, you just click there. Uh, I want just to show you an example. I'm not going to go deeper into this. Now, you go there, you see, uh, you, can, you can decide to view, you can opt to view, uh, view features, commitment of traders chart here. Oh, uh, you, you can go to financial traders reports, you see. Now, what is commitment? Because the commitment of traders, so the reports provide a breakdown of each Tuesday's open interest for market in which 20 or more traders hold a position equal to or above the report, reporting level established by the C commitment, uh, uh, commitment of traders, or CFTC. Commitment of traders charts are updated each Friday at 3 p.m. Now, these guys, this data are not very much reliable. You don't need to, because if you go to Australian dollar, let's say, if you go to Australian dollar, you see, coming to this point, if you just, you just, uh, you just uh, scroll your arrow or your crochet to this area, it shows you how many position, you see, commitment of traders, uh, a low position, low position, 26, uh, 26 million, 794,000, you see, a lot, a lot, a lot of position. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it correctly, but if you take, go to the total, you see 33, to, so you take the summation of this long position, short position. So COT, COTL long means buying position. COT, L uh, means short position, selling position. So we have more buyers than sellers on our USD. So the number of, of uh, the total number of position in the market are those uh, that uh, that one there. You see, thirty-three thousand two hundred seventy-five thousand. You see. So guys, I'm 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 not telling you to concentrate much on that. But if you want to know more about that, just log in and sign up to barchat.com you will learn a lot of stuff. There are numbers of things that you can learn from this rather than just watching the numbers. A lot of stuff. And uh, they also have news. You can also look at the news direct from there and uh, everything is just fine. Guys, commitment of traders ends there and our presentation ends there. If you have any question, please let me hear from you. Any question, guys? If you have any question, please. I want to receive some questions. Remember I said today, not feeling very, very well. So I want to receive some questions if you have any question. If you do not have any question, I, I wish you, I wish you uh, a, a wonderful trading week. And for those who are going to trade NZD tonight, NZ, uh, NZD interest rate, NZD pairs tonight, uh, I wish you best of luck. God bless you. See you. See you uh, next in our next presentation. But uh, I think I need to announce this. We we are, we are, we have now come to the end of this. Uh, so next week we start afresh uh, from the beginning. We start afresh from the beginning. I'm going to have other people, and also, of course, we also have other people who have just joined us. So we start afresh from the beginning. So for those people whose subscription is over, please, you may, if you want to proceed with us, you may consider to renew. And uh, because you're gonna learn a lot of stuff as well, you're gonna learn other things as well, and it's going to be good for you. Uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, someone is having a question here. Please, can I take you back a little bit to the NCD news breakdown? Yes, please take me back there.
you can you can you can can I receive your 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 question, please, Mr. Forbe Never, Mr. Forbe Never, can I can I get your question? If you want to ask it direct, I can allow you. You can unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for by Neville, you can ask your question direct. I have unmuted you. You, uh, you can now ask your question direct. You can now ask your question direct, please. Okay, please. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, please, I lost my connection when you were talking about uh, the GBP and the NCT. <laughs> All right, uh, you see, I'm, 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 I'm going to share the recorded video to the group. So if we didn't get it very clear, I think you can have time to go through the video and it's going to be very clear for you. Okay. Uh, yes, please. And of course, if uh, we, 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 we're going to need to share some setup also in the group, if you, if, if, if you, you, you stick to the group, other people are going to share the setups for NZD pairs, and it's going, to be, it's going to be good for you as well. All right, guys. Thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful trading week, and uh, have a nice moment as well.